Good morning, guys. This is Sunday morning, and it's a wet, dreary day. And we've been having a lot of rain here lately, which is good for my vegetable. Uh, but I decided that I'm going to show you my my front yard in this video. So, guys, this is a a gift that my daughter gave me and it lights up at night uh, she gave me that for Mother's Day and I love it I also decided to add some vegetable in the front of the house you know I thought it would be nice to you know put some type of vegetable in the front of the house and um, to see, you know, how it would grow up front. And then I can water it a whole lot more better because of um, being in the front and I have all the uh, water holes and stuff in front. So uh, I'm gonna give this a try by adding a few vegetable in the front. So right here, I have some pepper. And this is the um, the the bell pepper in this pot, and I got three of them in this pot. You know, peppers um, it it won't grow real big, um, and I thought that it would handle in the front of the house very well because it's incorporated with the flowers. So I put those there, and this is uh, the front. You can see I have some flowers here in the front and over here I have a, a, a lemon tree in the front and this is a dwarf lemon tree so it's not going to get real big and I'm going to see how that do as well now you can see it's already has some flowers on it you know now when I bought this I got this out of Lowe's and um, it had plenty of bloom on it, but um, I didn't put it in the ground fast enough and the bloom just fell off. But now I notice the bloom is coming back. So you can see the bloom right here. So yeah, I'm gonna see how that work in the front of the house and see if I get some um, um, lemon. Uh, this is a citrus indoor outdoor patio type so it's not going to be huge okay over here up here this is the front of the house uh, I have inpatients uh, I don't know if that's inpatient but anyway I got some flowers right there and I have the hanging basket right there as well this and is I the inpatient have... right here in here and I have these uh, plants right here. Now, I don't know the name of it. And um, all I know that I saw them and I like them. And I think that they, they're going to hold out in the heat here in, here in South Carolina. So I plant some of that in there with some silver dust. I know what that is. And uh, over here, I have some peppers. Now, I, I did a video on my uh, coffee plant. This is the coffee plant that I had in the house right here. It didn't do well inside the house. So I decided to bring it out, especially as they warm up a little bit. I also put a tomato plant in here. And I'm going to keep an eye on this tomato plant because I don't want it to get big and bushy. I'm going to try to keep her on the control because I don't want that big bushiness in the front of the door. But I had that tomato plant in there and peppers along with the coffee plant. I also have some silver dust and this is a firm right here, I know. And guys, these, these plants didn't have no name on it, but I, I just like the way it look. And um, 
it, to me, it gives the front of the house a different uh, look. I also have a pineapple sage right in here. And I think this is a watermelon right here, but I'm going to put a trellis in here. I'm going to let her run up the little trellis. It's not going to be a big trellis. It's going to be a small trellis. And this is a banana plant right here. That green one right here. And over here, I have some of these over here as well. And I know that's the Creepin' Jenny, but please don't ask me what these are. All I know, I love the way they look. And I, I love the way it bring out the front of the house. I also have some here as well. This is a firm. Um, I had this firm last year, and I think the... Um, the winter storm we had killed it. I, I didn't cover it up and the winter storm killed it, but I was able to get some of the root out and hopefully this will come back. And I also have some more of these plants. I mean, these plants run, you know. It more I call it desert plant. I don't know. If you know the name, put them in the comment section for me. But um, it will run. You know, it run. See how the way it's sticking up right here? It'll run. So I got several of them in there. I know at one point it used to call these like chickpeas plant or something like that. I'm not too sure. Then I have some over here. I got a few over here. And here. Now these one here will run and spread out. I love that one right there. Oh, then I have a silver dust in there to bring it out a little bit. Now, over here, I did the same thing. I got this one, and oh my goodness, I pulled that one out. But anyway, got that one. I saw that at the store, and I like it. It has some babies around there, right around there. Um, I also have the silver dust in here, and then I forget what this, this plant here called, but this plant is a plant that um, uh, the cold had killer, but it, it, it really don't kill the root. So I just add some more of these around there, and I'm going to put some more around there. I'm going to add some more because I like that um, desert type look in the front of the house. I also have this one. Um, she's grown since I put her in here because you can see the new growth up here. She has some speckle or something on it. Um, this is a new growth is up here. I also have the same plant in here. They died during the winter storm, but she came back. I cut them back and they came back. And um, I got some impatient in here and I got silver dust. And then I also have my little American pride. Same thing over here as well. And um, I also made my red uh, white and blue reef on the door. Now this is in the front of the garage. I don't know what you call this plant here, but it comes back every year and it multiplies like crazy. So I can I can take and break those off and throw them in the trash and it'll still come back. You still have it. I think this is some kind of ivy plant. This is another one. I just take a piece and stick it in there and that going to that grow like crazy as well. And over here, some more. I got some mums right here. You can see, look how pretty those mums are. The mums came back from last year. And then I have some right here. I got mums all over the place because when I buy the mums and they die back, I just place them right in this little area. They come back. They come back. You know, this one, I'm gonna have to give them some more dirt because that's just sitting up there like that. So I'm gonna have to place her bigger, a little deeper in the ground. But these are all the mums I had in the last couple of years. I didn't want I didn't want to throw it away when it died back, so I just put it in this little section right here. So that's my little mum section with all of that. So yeah, guys. That's the front of the house. I also 
uh, have um, uh, some marigolds in the front here. I made a little bit and put some marigolds in there to bring out the look. And um, I also have the, um, I have some knockoff roses that I drop around the house. So yeah, guys, this is the front of the house. And this is my big old um, sago plant. That big old plant in the middle right there is a sago plant. Now, during the winter storm, it had died. I had some brown ones in there. And so I just clicked them, I just clipped them back and she came back real big. Look at that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this little video. Dreary, dreary day. This show you what's going on in the front of the house. I know I show you the back lots of time, but um, I'm working in the front as well. And um, I hope you enjoy this little this little video of the front of my house. You have a blessed afternoon. I hope you had a wonderful Sunday. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. If you know the name of those uh, plant that I show you up on my little interest rate please leave the name in the comment i really do appreciate it okay guys i'll see you in my next video have a blessed day